YouTube. It is Nicole here back again, and welcome back to Nicole's View. So this story um, on the 37-year-old federal prosecutor who was found dead on a Florida beach. It's just another just mysterious case of these black officials being somehow found dead. First, we have the judge that was shot clearly in Chicago. Then we had uh, the judge out in New York that was found floating in the Hudson River, and they are trying to chalk that up as some mysterious suicide. And now we have this um, prosecutor, this federal prosecutor, who was found dead on a Florida beach. And his name was Barrington Wisenet Jr., was found with a possible gunshot wound. I've never heard of a possible gunshot wound. Either you're shot or you're not. I always thought. So I guess they're going to try to, you know, chalk this up to be as another suicide. Um, okay. Uh, the 37-year-old was discovered with a possible head injury, which may have been the result of a gunshot wound, according to the Miami Herald. A person strolling the beach spotted the lawyer's corpse early Wednesday, May 25th. Hollywood police spokesman Miranda Grossman revealed the next day it, it isn't certain whether Wisenant died at the location um, or was moved by a person or naturally by the ocean. Okay. All this naturally by the ocean and he's just mysteriously ended up here. This crap is just, you can't even make this up. The cause of death has yet to be determined by authorities since a gunshot wound hasn't been confirmed as the cause of death. Accidental suicide and murder are all possible rulings. Uh, Barrington Wisenhat Jr. graduated from the University of Florida Law School in 2004 and joined the U.S. Attorney's Office in Miami this past January. He was reportedly working on a visa and passport fraud fraud cases prior to his death. Uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office family was deeply saddened and shocked to learn of Berenson's death. Uh, acting U.S. Attorney Benjamin Greenberg said he was a great lawyer and wonderful colleague, and he will be deeply missed. Our thoughts are with Berenson's family and friends. The attorney had plans of eventually becoming a judge, according to a friend. He was very motivated by public service. So yeah, this definitely sounds like a hit. Um, I even read somewhere that he was even um, investigating voter fraud in South Florida. So, conspiracy, all connected, you know, you just never know what the hell's going on with this. I mean, this is the third black official, government worker, whatever you want to call it, prosecutor, judge, just dead. I, I just, I'm, this can't all be one big coincidence. I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. I think there are many people out there who want to see any type of um, black people who are in those positions of higher authority to be gone. And especially if they are investigating stuff that's just too close to the hip, they will do whatever it takes to make sure they are gone. And they will do and say it's a suicide. They will say something just his body just magically appeared or her body just magically appeared here. And no, I'm not buying it. I think this is total BS. All these, you know, people can't just be just suicide. You know what I'm saying? Like it can't be well, and they definitely can't see what the say with the judge in uh Chicago who was shot. That definitely wasn't suicide. That was obviously a hit. And then with these two, I bet they're going to try to play on the, you know, suicide tip. And I just don't buy it at all. I think it's a load of crap. And I'm going to definitely continue to follow this story because just like uh, Sheila Salam out in New York that was found floating in the Hudson. And now this prosecutor was found on a beach, you know, that's what, near water too. I mean, how can this all just be like the same? I just don't buy it. I, I'm putting on my conspiracy hat. I'm not buying it at all. So yeah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.